Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Happy Wednesday. In the last video, I actually played around with UV resin and polyurethane together in the same project. And I also mentioned that I was gonna be testing out some of the glitters. Does polyurethane work directly with glitter? Now I have some of the most beautiful glitters. It's been such a while since I've played with glitters. I'm beyond excited. I've even said to Yvonne, I'm so sorry, it's taken me ages. Yvonne over at Resin Supplies Den on Facebook. I'm going to leave the Facebook group linked below. Yvonne is the glitter supplier for Resin Supplies Den and she asked if she could send me a few glitters. Now, I was not expecting her to send me tons of glitters and when I opened the box it felt like Christmas. So again this is not sponsored, I'm not getting paid, it's just Yvonne wanted to send some to me to try out. Now most of you will have already seen um, Wendy over at Toonpish Crafts use Yvonne's glitters, they are stunning. I've had so much fun. Of course the hard part came, choosing a few glitters to use because Yvonne sent me so many I couldn't actually make a decision. I'm not going to run through each and every single glitter with you because there are so so many that would be a whole video in itself but really cool. What I was looking for were the chunky chunks, not the fine beautiful dusty glitters but the chunky chunky glitters that have got real big chunks in there. My plan was to use my tweezers to be able to get down in the details of this mold. This mold was sent to me also by Let's Resin and all of the details for Let's Resin and your 10% off will be in the description box below. Now, again, I went for the chunky chunks. So my plan was, my aim was to be able to get some of these glitters down into this mold and pour the polyurethane down on top. Look at this, so sparkly, so beautiful. And some of these glitters are ultra chameleon as well. And again, it's not sponsored. I'm just sharing these with you because I wanna use them more. I wanna use them in more upcoming videos. Now I have sped this section up for you all because it was long. I say that a lot in videos, but it was long. I was trying to take my time and I thought the tweezers would make everything just a little bit neater for me. But in all honesty, with the video sped up, it truly looks like I've just dumped it all down. <laughs> like I've just thrown it at the mold and hope that it sticks. I actually did do this with intention. I, I went deeply with intention here to go into each and every shape, but the static, Silicon does have an element of static to it. It got to the point where as much as I tried to get the glitter down into all of the teeny tiny details of this mold, it was, it was just guide everywhere. It was just guide everywhere. So I did give up. I did give up um, trying to be so neat after a while because it was all in vain. And um, But it's okay. Just remember when you clear up your glitter, just do it responsibly. Don't wash it down the drains. We don't want this to end up in our water supply or in our ocean. So when it comes to cleaning up glitter, I try to get as much as I can back in the bag, but again, this is all gonna be mixed at this point. Otherwise, use tape to get rid of any unwanted excess glitter. Just try to be less wasteful than I am being here. It's just the static, guys. The static took over. I am using the back of my tweezers, like the pointy end of my tweezers, to try and disperse the glitter as much around these molds as possible and it's looking so so pretty with the polyurethane i knew i wanted to color it again and you would have seen that in previous videos this polyurethane resin again if you're still here i do want to say that this polyurethane is available in the uk it's just not the let's resin version so i understand the frustration with items not yet being released in the UK but I have used polyurethane on my channel now for a couple of years and it is available here in the UK it's just a different brand so if you really would love to get your hands on some of this polyurethane resin I'm going to leave the details in the description box for a UK supplier if you fancy having a play now the color I've gone and used is the magenta as something about this color I just love it I've added a couple of drops of the magenta alcohol ink from let's resin down into the polyurethane and at this point it's already it's already heating up in my hands it's already heating up in my hands 
if you see my hand shaking, it's because I know it's heating up. And that means one thing and one thing only. We don't have long. So giddy up, buttercup. Get it done. Get it poured. Get it in. This is real time right now. I'm not slowing this down. I'm not speeding this up. This is real time because I want to pour as neatly as possible. In an ideal world, I would have got rid of the glitter that was on the outskirts of the moulds. You know that glitter that's just resting on the surface? In an ideal world, get some sellotape, get rid of that guys. Get rid of that before you pour. I should have done that, sadly I didn't. All that means is that it will draw the resin out and over. You know, it just means we've got some trimming to do afterwards. But again, first world problem, because <laughs> who wants to trim? Who wants to sand? Nobody. So in an ideal world, get rid of that sitting glitter before you pour, and then you'll get a much neater result. But here we are, we've added the alcohol ink into the polyurethane and we are pouring. I've still got a little bit left of this polyurethane at this point and there are a couple of pieces here where I didn't put the glitter down in just because the shapes themselves weren't really making my heart sing. Like these squares, they weren't really doing anything for me so I figured I would just leave those out. However, I ended up filling them anyway because I made just a little, little bit too much polyurethane. So always either be more prepared than I was or have a mold on the side where you can actually pour the leftovers. But that goes with everything. That goes with eco pores, that goes with epoxy resin, all of the above. Here we are, sped up, massively sped up. <laughs> When you add alcohol ink to polyurethane, there's definitely a delay in the curing process. So just letting you know, this is sped up by a billion. Okay, maybe not a billion, but it's very sped up. And it turns a beautiful pastel color. That is what I absolutely am loving with this. We've got some more projects coming up in this video as well. And the colors, oh my goodness me, I have found the most beautiful colors. Now, it was on demold of these that I just wasn't, I wasn't wowed, okay? I wasn't wowed. I feel like two things. Firstly, the mold was just a bit too intricate to hold the glitter that I put in. And secondly, I just feel like the polyurethane doesn't do the glitter justice. In, in in a way, we lost, we lost the impact. We lost the impact of the glitter. These are my favourites though. These circles, again, back to the circles. They just draw me in. These are my favourites. These have definitely come out the best because they've got a flat surface. So a much broader, wider, flat area for that glitter to really, really stick. As for all of the others that are really quite detailed and thin walled, we didn't get that. We didn't really get the wow impact. Now these squares were just left over polyurethane. And I guess this is still around about 15 minutes after pouring. They're still quite soft. And that is because I've added the alcohol ink in. But there's nothing much to see with the squares. I didn't put any glitter in there. Again, cute cute little 80s disco earrings. <laughs> if, you, if you like that kind of thing. As for the rest, they were all a little bit meh all a little bit meh. I would say that polyurethane and glitter is definitely not as wow. You know, it's definitely not singing to me. It's not something I would go out of my way to try again unless we necessarily try it on a, or specifically even try it on a much flatter area mold. It might pick up more, but for me, I just felt like the glitter floated. We lost a lot. The polyurethane kind of took over. We didn't really get the results. So we're going to try again. We're going to try a kind of upside down method this time and see if we can get some gorgeous results with glitter and polyurethane. So technically, this is not just polyurethane and glitter. It is kind of like a, a cheat guide, but equally, we're going to get beautiful results and speedy. Because what we're doing here is using a clear UV resin to lay down into the mold first. This is going to give us a gorgeous clear surface when we demold through which we're going to be able to see the glitter a lot, lot better. And the beauty of using UV resin and polyurethane resin together in the same project, like I said, it's just speed. We're going to get the results we want, 
but fast. So of course you could do this with epoxy resin. We've all done, you know, glitter in epoxy. You could do that and then pour your polyurethane down on top. But this way around, super, super speedy. So here you see me just dropping the glitter down in. You think I would have got neater from the last set, but no, <laughs> I tried. The static, there's definitely static here and it just pulls the glitter in all directions, just like sucks it to the left or to the right. So I'm, I'm not really paying any mind to where I'm putting the glitter. I just want some glitter in each piece. I don't want the glitter to take over because my plan is to back them with the polyurethane adding some color into the polyurethane. So I still want that color to shine through. This one, Alison. Oh, stunning glitter. Oh my gosh. Again, the purples. Oh, Wendy, I'm coming for your purple. <laughs> now it's time to mix up our polyurethane. I haven't mixed up too much here. I've just added part A, part B together by weight. You can measure out this polyurethane by weight or volume so you can eyeball it i just prefer weight i just feel like it's a little bit more precise now for the first few especially those purples oh my gosh that allison glitter i'm just pouring the polyurethane straight down neat in there this polyurethane does cure white if this is the first video you are seeing from me this polyurethane does cure completely white so that was my goal with those ones they're going to get a white background and then for the others I decided to add in some color so I'm going in with oh that was quick Claire sorry guys I'm going in with azure blue alcohol ink by let's resin three drops of the azure blue azure azure azure, azure. <laughs> I don't know however you spell it three drops of that blue and at this point the polyurethane again is heating up in my hands so it's get it poured Claire stop mucking about get it poured I'm pouring that in with the blue and I think I only pour three with the blue and then I decide to add in some yellow which is going to give us a green and when I tell you this green is a stunning green doesn't look stunning right now <laughs> we're very aware right now this does not look this looks like thames river thames green but remember that the polyurethane cures white therefore it's going to pastelize this color it's gonna it's gonna numb it it's gonna dumb it down what's the word dumb it down yeah that's the word i'm looking for this is sped up by like forty thousand times <laughs> This took around 15 minutes to fully cure and oh, look at that green. Look at that green. Before I demolded, I flipped it upside down just to make sure that that backside got the UV light on it for another solid 200 seconds. I just wanted to make sure that the underbelly of that UV was fully cured before demold. And I love these results. I absolutely love them. This is where we see this glitter, the full potential, the full yumminess and gorgeousness of Yvonne's glitters are coming through now because we've put that first layer of clear down. So if you do want to have a play with polyurethane and glitter, I would totally recommend doing it this way. I just think the polyurethane, it doesn't pick up the glitter like we'd want it to, not like epoxy, not like UV, you know? Look at this one here. Again, this glitter here is like chameleon. It's pink, purple, green, and blue, all depending on whatever angle. The way I see these working, I would definitely do some vinyl cutting, put maybe a first initial letter on the front in gold or silver. Letter C, letter A, W, whatever your initial letter is, or even words. You could fit words on here like mum, dad, or just joy, peace, small little words that would make them just beautiful gifts. As they are, they are beautiful anyway. But if you wanted to up it a notch, definitely add some vinyl decal on the front and then you can just top coat them in UV resin or clear nail UV gel and just whack it under the UV light. This one here I particularly love. We did get some um, spillover. That's fine. We can trim that off. If you saw the last video, this polyurethane is super easy to trim. But this green, guys, 
this green i don't know what it is about this green it is summer it is spring it is cottage garden it's country kitchen green that's how i see this green i love it and this green with pink i don't know what i'm gonna do about that but green these <laughs> this green needs to go somewhere it needs to go somewhere with pink here they all are the results from this second project was so much more just beneficial to see the glitter it really has highlighted that glitter so much more than just using polyurethane and hoping the polyurethane is going to clear it up in all honesty it's not really a fair experiment i didn't use the same molds for one you could definitely try that but i just feel like from what the polyurethane did pick up ugh, ugh, it was just too meh it was too meh for me and the glitter didn't stand out i feel like this glitter needs to stand out so massive massive thank you shout out to yvonne from resin supplies den over on facebook your glitters are stunning like there's no way around it they are stunning i'm gonna link the details down below again i'm not sponsored i'm not an affiliate i do not earn any money from you buying this glitter it's just i'm trying it out because yvonne wanted to send it to me but compare it to these there's just no comparison there is absolutely no comparison between the two these truly are not it <laughs> apart from the circles these are not it so yeah we have we have learned let me know if you have tried glitters with polyurethane what your technique was and what your results were like leave a comment down below if you've done that so everyone else can learn from each other that's what i love about this community that we can all learn together but these colors that even that blue guys that blue Mm, just stunning results i hope you've loved this as much as i have thanks again to yvonne thanks again if you're watching if you're still here 17 minutes in thanks to the people in the live chat right now i appreciate you all massively and i will see you in the next video where we are doing something that i actually saw on the let's resin instagram page we're making some bowls it was fun i'll see you then bye Thank you.